Hey Cancer, so as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for all Cancer placements, okay? So Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Cancer, then this reading is for you, all right? Cancer, let us go ahead, jump into the reading, y'all. Let's see what messages Spirit has here for you. We have bag, okay? So something important, such as a new job or a raise, okay? So somebody here is getting a new job or a raise. Congratulations in advance, all right? We have bridge, successfully overcoming a problem, okay? So I feel like this helps you out a lot, all right? Whatever this raise is, whatever this new position is, this new job, it helps you out a lot, all right? We have goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. There you go. Triple emphasis on the fact that something is about to improve something is about to um evolve and it looks like it's your finances okay so congratulations my love all right let us see for our cancers that is always a beautiful thing to hear we have the sun car okay happiness and well-being i'm here for it all right i'm here for it let us see we have oh oh hold on hold on for our cancers hold on cancer where the car went hold on hold on cancer we got it, Cancer. All right, so dealings or relationships with a woman, woman, okay? And the underlining so far is August, okay? So I'm just getting here that by August, somebody's going to be having a brand new position, okay? Um, somebody could be moving for this position in August. It could involve some form of travel or something like that, all right, for whatever this position is. Um, but I feel like it offers you a solution to all of your problems. Like, what problems? You get what I'm saying? That's the energy that's coming out here. It's like, what problems when you get whatever this blessing is? Okay, so this is beautiful. Let us see here for our cancers. Let's get into the reading, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, now. <clears throat> I could be talking to a woman or something significant is going to take place here with the woman in... August. This woman could be a Leo. Okay, now I say that because we have woman, sun, August. Okay, so sun represents Leo energy. August is definitely Leo energy too. So, hmm, okay. Let me see here. But regardless to what I see in the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, you guys are getting your wish fulfillment right now, your heart's deepest or greatest desires. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like right now you might be a little bit confused or you have a lot of confusion going on at this time. All right, we have the Moon card. Yeah, a lot of secrets, a lot of things going on around you, Five of Wands, a lot of drama. But I feel like this drama that's around you literally has nothing to do with you. I feel like just like this woman here, you're on the outside. I feel like this little lobster here, you're on the outside. Like, you get what I'm saying? You're looking in on all the drama that other people are dealing with. Yeah, we have the Strength card. And it's something here significant, once again, about a Leo. We have have the two of wands so here's your energy you get what i'm saying the moon all right which i don't know why they said it's pisces is really truly not this is cancerian energy um and then we have the strength card okay but let us see so secrets deep intense secrets okay hmm the cherry is also a representation of your energy but i'm really intrigued by how they made uh the, the moon card, the seven of cups is usually Piscean energy, but in this deck is Scorpio energy. So that's really interesting. All right. But we have the will of fortune here. Okay. Anyway, so, um, will of fortune is about you moving forward. Like I said, focusing on, um, brighter days. Okay. Better times, solutions. Okay. Happiness, joy, abundance, prosperity. Okay. Prosperity in abundance. I just heard, but we have the four of wands. So a stable home life, you get what I'm saying? Or a stable relationship for those of you who are in a relationship or marriage. All right. So like I said, whatever this nonsense is that's going on around you, I really simply put, feel like it's around you. We have the seven of pentacles, okay? This is you having invested into something and now you're waiting to see it come back. What have you invested into? More than likely this ten of cups, your family life, your home life. You've been putting a lot into that, just like this lady out here with her crops. You get what I'm saying? You've been putting a lot of time, a lot of energy, dedication into, you get what I'm saying, this family unit that you've been building or this home life that you've been building and it's coming together. We have the three of cups, so it's time to celebrate. So celebratory energy this is your energy here all right so they want you to celebrate have a good time you get what i'm saying let your hair down ace of wands understand that this is something you willed you manifested you brought into fruition ten of pentacles all right so what i'm getting here too with the seven of cups in the moon card is that a lot of people might be confused
a lot of people might be confused as to how you did this. They like you was just struggling, you was just this, you was just that, and now look at you out here winning. It's because you and your divine counterpart are together. You get what I'm saying? And I don't know. It's like somebody else is having pain up over this or because of this or something like that. Somebody might have wanted something to be hard for you, and it's just not. I don't know. So let us see the seven of cups. He will be hating every day, B. Yeah, we got the emperor. Okay, so the emperor could be somebody's boss or somebody's father. Somebody's boss or somebody's father might not like the fact that something is going so well for them. I, it's really weird here. All right, eight of swords. Like the person wants you to be uh, strapped in fear or trapped in fear. Okay, strapped in fear. That's funny. But they wanted you to be trapped in fear. You get what I'm saying? Unable to move, unable to do, unable to think for self. And that's just not what it's like. We got the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're confused. They're like, how are you getting these universal gifts and blessings? How are you getting it? Somebody feels like it's a handout. Somebody feels like, um, like you know how they have teacher's pet? All right. So it's something like that going on at work. You get what I'm saying? They feel like you're somebody's favorite or there's favoritism going on. But it's not that at all. And honestly speaking, I'm not even going to read on this too much because who cares what other people think? We got the Ace of Cups here. Yeah. So it's like you've been waiting on your heart's desire. It's temperance. It's just divine timing for something to happen for you. Devil. So you have low vibrational people around you who you're going to have to separate yourself from Ace of Swords because they're going to try to overburden you just because they see that you're having a good time in life. You get what I'm saying? So let us see the Ace of Wands. I'm not going to stay on this energy too long, y'all, because like I said, it's beautiful things going on for you. That's what you need to be focused on, not the people around you that's trying to cause distractions. We have the High Priestess, yeah, because you intuitively knew when the time to strike was, Knight of Swords, and that's what you did. Underlying energy here is the King of Wands. So once again, fire sign somewhere, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Double emphasis on a Leo. Somebody might be trying to hold you back and prevent you from coming into union with your divine counterpart as well. Some of you might have a divine counterpart who is, excuse me, a different sign. But you might have a karmic who is a Leo, and this Leo might be trying to hold on to you for their life or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to pull y'all one of these, too. So we have help. All right. Yeah. So maybe somebody's in need of help and you're like, I don't know. The tables have flipped or switched or something like that. Duality. Like what goes around comes around or something like that. Now somebody needs your help or something. All right. But this is a lesson for them to learn or something like that. We have message of forgiveness. You can forgive the person, but I feel like this is something that they're meant to learn, like not to treat people a certain type of way or something like that. But anyway, guys, peace and hair,